Hey, what's up with you guys? This is Erfan here with TheSmartyIncubator.com and welcome to another weekly analysis video. So in this video, we are going to go over EURUSD, GBPUSD, NAS100 and GOLD and uh, we're going to just break it down. We'll see what happens next week. Uh, we're going to identify some order blocks, some gaps, some supply and demand zones uh, to see uh, what kind of potential trades we can take next week. So as you can see, I'm on EURUSD 5 minute guys. I just want to show you this order block right here that literally happened on Friday. Look at this beautiful rejection on this high probability order block. So if you can uh, see exactly what happened on this uh, 15 minute time frame, we have a very strong supply, uh, sorry, demand zone right here, which is a high probability order block. So after this huge push towards upside, the next candle never tapped into this zone. So that's why it left the gap exactly from this candle to this order block here. And that's why it makes it a high probability order block and then we just waited for the price to come back to this level and then in five minutes we have this huge uh like you know huge uh, what i mean is that it's a very beautiful rejection uh and towards upside and then here we go it grabbed all the liquidity here and not here yet but here but you could easily take a really good one to four risk reward ratio trade it was absolutely amazing so for Euro USC guys, uh, I mean we're not gonna analyze it on a five minute time frame because there's no use. We're gonna go for four hour first to see what's going on exactly and uh, how many gaps and order blocks we have uh, for the next week. So let me just remove everything. As you can see guys, uh, Euro USC has been bearish like for the past few days or I would say for the past few weeks. Just higher, lower lows and lower highs is crazy. And then we have this major break of a structure and it's just been, you know, very bearish for the past week. So like every single day, it was bearish. So we had a market crash, like, you know, cr like crazy. All this liquidity guys, all of them have been grabbed. So that's why the market is coming down to stop out all these buyers right here and then change the direction of the market. We don't know when, but we can see a little bit of con consolidation here, so it's a good sign that the market wants to change the direction, but we're still not sure. Uh, you can also use the Fibonacci if you want. You can uh, draw it from here to here, and then you see that uh, the potential pullback, the potential pullback zone is almost right here, between 50 to 60%, which is our golden zone. So we kind of you know, can expect the price to tap into the zone and then see what happens because of this huge bullish engulfing candle here and then correction uh and then see you know how the market wants to react exactly so this is how uh euro usc looks like even on a daily time frame you see it, it's been bearish like crazy we had a bearish trend here and then consolidation and then break of a structure uh again bearish everything was bearish and if I want to look left, you see that we still have so much liquidity left to get grabbed. So like this area is already grabbed. See, this the lowest points right here is already grabbed by this huge bearish engulfing candle. And uh, let's see what happens next week because we have so many gaps, guys. So many gaps uh, right here, uh, even right here. And all of them needs to all of them need to get filled in like with no doubt. So if you want to like find any high probability order block, like for example, this candle, uh, and we had a huge push towards upside and then it does uh, it did a little bit of correction. Let's see what happens next week when the market opens. It probably gave us uh, it probably gives us a really good a bullish engulfing candle and then we can take our buy position uh, all the way up to here our golden zone it's going to be a really good one but we don't know we still don't know so what we know right now is that we created a little bit of support level right here and then we have this break of a structure which was a major break of a structure exactly right here so there's no uh, supply and demand that i drew right here uh they're just support and resistance levels so this is for your usc uh we gotta wait guys but what i'm sure like you know absolutely 100 percent is that there's so many gaps here that need to be filled in uh but when the market is going to go up we don't know we still don't know we gotta wait for that uh, but we can see a very good momentum right here that had a break of a structure towards upside so it means that the market is the price is probably gonna you know play around a little bit and then go towards upside so this is your usd let's go to uh gbp usd 
JVUSC is almost acting as a Yuri UC, guys. Like, there is no huge, huge difference here. Uh, and for hours, you see that for the past couple of weeks, uh, that there was a huge bullish trend with all these higher highs and higher lows. And then exactly on January 13th, it has started to change the direction of the market with these lower lows and lower highs. So even GPUSC is bearish for sure, but uh, we still have so many gaps right here. We have so many gaps right here. We have so many gaps right here. And then if I want to show you uh, hyperology or the, if, even this one, the same structure, this bullish engulfing candle had a break of a structure and then pull back and then we'll see what happens. And then uh, what I want to show you is this uh, resistance level right here that is still not tapped into. So in my opinion, there's going to be a, a little bit of correction for GPUSD and EURUSD. And this one, even this arrow shows that it's going to trying to become bullish and then tap into this zone and then we'll see what happens. Even right uh, for GPUSD, if you want to use Fibonacci tool, you see that our golden zone is exactly right here, just a little bit above uh, let me just you know, change the direction of it. This is exactly where our golden zone is. And the market is probably trying to reach this level to do a little bit of you know, correction. And then we see a momentum here. If you see a momentum, then you can uh, take a short position up to here. Or we just see what happens. So the same structure as Yuri, you see guys, uh, very self-explanatory. I'm pretty sure that you, you guys are all master if you know what order blocks are. Uh, it's gonna make your life so much easier okay so let's go to nas 100 guys let's go to nas 100 nas 100 has been really good recently because because of this uh major break of a structure because of this major break of a structure right here and right here so it's a very very good indicator that the market is trying to change the direction uh, because of this uh, head and shoulder it's creating a head and shoulder pattern so it's probably planning to uh, go all the way up to here and here to fill in all these gaps. So that's all it is, guys, uh, for this one and this one, even for this one. But we gotta see that what happens. Uh, there's no high quality order block here. It's just you know fluctuating like crazy. Nas 100 has been crazy, guys. It's just been going down, you know, for weeks to stop out all these buyers that took their position here. So as you can see, all these liquidities are getting uh, grabbed uh, on a daily basis for uh, US for Nas 100. And this consolidation means that we are gonna we are gonna have a break of a structure, like a major break of a structure, very soon, whether towards upside or downside. But in my opinion, it's gonna be towards upside because of these break of structures that happened for the last two candles. But as you can see, this support level is very very strong. Is very strong. One touch, two touches, three, four touches. So it it's been respected. So it means that it's creating this support level. So it means it's probably changing the direction of the market for four hour uh, this is what i'm seeing right now and if i want to use uh, my trend line you see that it's already broke through this line and the next week it's probably uh, be bullish and here we have a high probability order block because of this huge candle here and then the candle after that never tapped into this zone and this is my prediction my own prediction for next week but we always need to see what happens we don't predict the market we trade what we see so and this is for nas 100 guys for nas 100 uh, i would say i just wait for a very good bullish engulfing candle because of uh this uh, level right here as i said it's been respected like crazy so uh it's a really good indicator to be honest and we have so many gaps here see this huge candle never tapped into uh if you use your fibonacci from here to here you see that our golden zone is here and it's never tapped into our golden zone so it means that this candle is still not filled in and yeah, pretty much, that's pretty much it for NAS 100, guys. Let's go for gold to see what's going on here. Yeah, gold has been really good, guys. Like, there was a really good trade that I took last week and I got stopped out because I got greedy. And I have a breakdown a video for that, guys. It's probably my last video, a video before this video. I highly recommend you to watch it. Uh, I can probably show you right here. Yes, exactly. This is where I took my trade. I saw this beautiful candle that created this high probability order block. And if I want to do a replay for you, you see that I saw this B 
beautiful order block, high probability order block here, and this huge candle towards downside. And then I just waited for the price to tap into this zone, uh, and then I could take my sell position. See, it tapped into this zone. I took my position right here. I put my stop loss, uh, I think I put it above here, but I wanted to close my trade here. I could have taken two trades, one of them one to one, and the other one I could have, you know, left a runner. But I didn't do that. I just took one trade. I wanted to leave a runner all the way up to here because I knew that there is a huge uh, liquidity here because of this uh, uh, support level, and then I just waited for that. But unfortunately, it came down. It came down. See, see where the last candle closed a little bit left. First, uh, like at the beginning, I put my TP here, but then after that, I moved it uh, over here. And as you can see, what happened was is that it just smashed my stop loss. So I should have closed it right here. It would have been a really good trade. I love that, guys. But yeah, for gold, uh, what I can personally see is that all this liquidity, uh, everything here is uh, liquidated. But we go to four hour time frame to uh, see if we have any, you know, gaps yeah absolutely we do absolutely all these see the market has been bearish like crazy guys like we had a huge market crash last week because of the uh fed news if i'm not wrong uh, that's why it's like going crazy the, the value of us dollar you know uh increased that's why it, uh xau dropped which is their gold okay and yeah, I can see any high probability order block. What I can see is just all gaps, guys. All gaps. We just need to wait for the price to come, kind of come back to these zones and fill in all these gaps. But we have really good support level right here. And that so far has been respected. But in my opinion, it's going to come down again. And if I want to use this Fibonacci level, you see, right now the price is testing this uh, golden zone, which is between 50 to 60%. Uh, but we gotta wait for a momentum in 15 minutes and five minutes to confirm that uh, this level, this zone is being respected. And then you can take your sell position and then close it right here to kind of, you know, grab all the liquidity. So I'm going to remove this because we don't need it. But uh, if you use Fibonacci guys, that's awesome. Like for more confirmation, but the main strategy is supply and demand. Uh, it's a very very good one guys in my opinion supply and demand is crazy crazy good but let's see what happens next week even gold I think after this huge market crash uh, all these pairs are trying to kind of recover and uh, kind of reverse the direction to kind of all to kind of uh, fill in all those leftover gaps when it was dropping so that was my analysis uh, we're gonna see what happens next week uh, I'm having a live trading session every single day, uh, Monday through uh, Friday. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you still haven't done that and uh, turn on the notification bell. So whenever I upload a new video, you get notified super, super fast. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And by the way, uh, if you still haven't grabbed Goldie Incubator, do it right now because our servers are getting filled up. We can't accept as many clients as we would like to. But if you want to trade hands-free and gain consistent profits, and it only trades gold. So I have so many videos for that, so many testimonials if you want to check them out. I pretty much talk about it on every single video. We have a live results on my FX book. I'm going to leave a link below this video. Feel free to check it out. And if you have any question, drop your comment here. I get back to you. Thank you so much and see you next week.